Hi Cancer, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your February reading. We're gonna pull some general messages first and then we will get into the love portion of your reading. So with that, let's just get started. Let's see what the energy is here from our beautiful Cancerians. What does Cancer need to know? for February. All right. Oh, wow. Your first card that came out is surprise. So this is an energy where something just happens out of the blue. It's kind of that four of cups energy. If you've been watching my readings, the four of cups can be a period of time where you feel disappointed about a situation, but then it's like, Either you get some sort of invitation that is a surprise to you or something happens out of the blue. So in February, I feel like there's something you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. Uh, and it's also an energy like if you've been looking for love in your life, right? If you're single, you know, casually dating or maybe you're not, this is also an energy it could be a, a surprise in love. Now, your next card that came out is travel. Is also an energy of hearing from somebody. It could be hearing from somebody from a distance. It could be hearing from someone. Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while. It's also an energy of something exciting is going to happen and maybe travel is involved. It can also talk about career advancement as well. So some of you may be finding out like this can be a surprise, like you get that promotion or you get that bonus or you get that raise. So there's some sort of surprise. Maybe you find out that you you win some sort of trip to the Bahamas, you know, whatever it is, something really nice is going to happen in February. What do we have here? We have opportunities. Okay, so wow, Cancer, these messages are so in line with each other. Some sort of opportunity is coming your way. This card also says dress to impress. So I feel like Cancer, you are gonna get some sort of invitation. Uh, like I said, it could be related to your career. Uh, travel may be involved or you hear from someone at some place at a distance but wow I just have to say wow with those messages you have sunshine it says here the Sun is shining on your career and business growth fabulous communication in relationships very nice cancer so the Sun is going to be shining on you in the month of February I love it so if you think about the Sun card too that's about people peace, joy, happiness, prosperity. So I feel like there's something really nice about to happen for you in the month of February. So I'm just going to pull a couple cards here. This is, you know, just in general, some messages here uh, regarding life. Okay. Oh my gosh, Cancer. Look at that. The, <laughs> the relationships. Okay, and that's probably because Cancer, you have a big heart or you may be somebody who is all about relationships, right? Wanting to bring people together, you know, making people feel good. But this card is really about uh, communication and working with others. So I feel like there's communication coming in for you. Not expecting. It can also be in uh, business too. Okay, so this could be working with others, a business partnership. I'm just going to say be careful there. This can be an office uh, romance as well. So make careful choices. That's what this card is telling you as well. You also have here the future card. This card is about planning for your future. It's also telling you that at this time too, you're going to have some psychic insights that are going to come through. And that's also spirit telling you that they're going to support you during this time. So very nice energy. Let's get one more for you. You also have here authority. So there may be a situation, some of you, there could be uh, some sort of power struggle that you experience with somebody. And this is where it's saying you kind of have to find some sort of middle ground or peaceful solution. Some of you, this could also be somebody who challenges your authority. So 
I would say that's the only thing, maybe the challenge to look out for. This can also be about maybe you kind of taking a step back. It could be a boss who challenges your authority if you, you know, you have an employer. So with that, Cancer, I feel like I'm just going to pull some Romance Angel cards. We're going to see what the energy shows. I haven't used this deck in a while. I mean, I used the smaller deck that I have. This is the original one that I have. It's the large version. Let's see. Oh my gosh, Cancer. Look, you have engagement. So something um, is evolving here. Okay. It says your love life is ascending to a high level, high level of commitment. I'm just gonna put the. I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of room here. Let's see. Getting to know each other. See, Cancer. I feel like in love, there is someone that you are going to strengthen a bond with, or maybe this is the surprise. Maybe you meet somebody, or somebody reaches out to you. But there is someone you and this person are going to strengthen your connection you know whatever type of uh connection you are in oh look at that and we also have here passion passion and look at that the honeymoon card this is an energy of distance too so i feel like there's someone maybe you feel maybe they've been distant with you or maybe there's someone coming from uh to you from a distant oh cancer i just have to say wow you're gonna hear from somebody or you're gonna get some sort of surprise invitation there's a lot of passion <laughs> passionate energy oh my gosh psychic tarot energy here too let's see what else the energy brings in for you cancer and okay, so interesting we have emotional withdrawal here's that power card we have awareness And we have intuition. So again, another card here telling me that your intuition is going to be very strong during February. This emotional withdrawal, I feel like this could really be more so you kind of holding back a bit because we do have the power card and remember we have the authority so this could go back to there could be somebody that may challenge your authority if this is in relationships and i see somebody coming towards you i feel like you're going to be holding back a bit some of you may be i feel like with this emotional withdrawal maybe some of you may not be quick to put yourself out there uh i see you kind of holding back a bit right? You do have the awareness card and intuition. So I'm really getting cancer that you are going to be very intuitive. You're going to be getting downloads. As I said, with the future, I feel like you're really going to get a lot of guidance. You know, you may even see signs and synchronicities. We have two eights here. Eight may be important to you. Ones and twos as well. We also have here, look at that three eights, because we also have a uh, 17 here, which adds to eight hope. So there's something about a situation here, again, feeling that sunshine energy or that warm energy here with the hope card. Now this could be, right, maybe you've been hoping for a relationship or maybe there's a certain person you've been hoping to come towards you or maybe get that invitation um, is what I'm getting there. So let's pull some tarot. Let's see what else comes out for you, Cancer. What else can you share with Cancer? in love what else does cancer need to know in love so king of cups energy definitely your energy or could uh, a new another person coming in a cancer scorpio pisces the strength card interesting because it's with the power card it's the same card there strength see there's something about your emotional strength maybe you're going to be more disciplined with your emotions maybe some of you may like i said be holding back for some reason oh boy <laughs> there's the counterpart the queen of cups so interesting let's keep going judgment
and we have the Queen of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck here, we do have the Two of Cups. You know what I'm really uh, sensing here, Cancer? I feel like a lot of you, because of a situation in the past, I'm, I'm going to say here too, I don't necessarily feel this is a past person coming into your life, but it could be, right? For some of you, it may be a past person, but I feel like in this reading, it's pretty open that this could be a new connection. It doesn't necessarily have to be a past connection, but I really get here that there is going to be somebody that I feel you and this person are going to be really compatible I feel like it too it could be another water sign a cancer Scorpio Pisces I'm also getting here Leo but I kind of just feel like you're going to be more disciplined I see you being more disciplined whoever this person is so some of you may be like kind of holding back emotionally or maybe not giving as much but I feel like this there's something that you learned from the past when it comes to love and relationships and that's where I see you kind of more disciplined maybe not giving as much and you know giving as much of yourself not that you can't be kind and giving and you know the queen of pentacles here so I really feel like this is about you knowing your worth and you've learned a lot from the past now this could also be a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo that is coming your way but I see a partner here I see somebody coming into your life we do have uh, the hermit here as well Virgo energy so I see you kind of really going within about whoever this is look at that I picked up the deck and look what card came out the sun card so let's keep going what else can you share with cancer what else does cancer need to know in February in love what else does cancer need to know so we have the three of wands interesting i happen to look at the bottom of the deck and we have the ace of cups there's definitely i i feel here somebody coming towards you opportunity with that three of wands could also be a fire sign in aries a leo sagittarius let's keep going all right there you are cancer wow double double uh let's say double trouble no double verification there there you are cancer here's the chariot definitely picking up your energy in this reading we have the eight of cups okay with the strength card i see you holding back you know again i feel like it goes back to maybe disappointment remember the surprise right you may have been disappointed in the past or recently but then there's some sort of a pleasant surprise that comes in some of you this could be right you exploring new possibilities or walking away from a situation as i said here you know some of you this could be somebody from the past but this card wanted to come out too we have the three of pentacles so I see you kind of meeting up here with somebody, working together. We do have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck as well. Seeing uh, repeating threes here too. You're definitely meeting up with someone. And it doesn't have to be like an ex, but I do feel there is a big possibility here that this could be somebody that may be disappointed in your past, or maybe you uh, met this person and maybe you felt this person wasn't interested, but they are. It's going to be different for everybody, but I see you going out. I see you having fun here. I see you meeting up with somebody. Let's keep going. Let's pull another card. wow look at that the lovers and this card wants to come out too we have the knight of cups yeah there's a romantic opportunity cancer definitely a romantic opportunity this may even be a choice in love because i see you know the three of wands here okay this could be more than one opportunity i see you kind of holding back here so i'm going to say cancer remember you have the opportunity here too you may have more than one opportunity is what i'm feeling here because three of pentacles there could be somebody from your past that disappointed you and you may hear from this person 
Okay, maybe some of you want to rekindle something. Some of you, I feel like there could be a decision in love between two people here. But I see you really holding back because you know your value, you know your worth. And I, I see you too. This is someone who um, is searching for their happiness. And so they're exploring opportunities. They're walking towards new opportunities. And I feel like, Cancer, that's the energy I'm feeling here is that some of you may be walking away from another situation, pursuing a new connection. And I feel like some of you could uh, end up in some sort of triangle situation. You're returning and you got this new opportunity. It's gonna be different for everybody. But let's pull some indigo, indigo, uh, indigo goddess cards. Let's see what else the energy shows here for you, Cancer. Look at that. Committed. Two cards of commitment, Cancer. I feel like, and look what's on the bottom of the deck. You have full cup. This is like ace of cups energy. Cancer. <laughs> I, I feel like, why well, very strongly in this reading, there's some sort of love opportunity coming towards you where I feel like you and this person could end up in a commitment. Now I'm gonna tell you too, if you're focused on money and career, because I am pulling money and career energy, this also is a long-term career opportunity. Something that you are committed to for the long-term that's gonna bring you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. So I am definitely getting two energies here. But Cancer, I feel like there strongly in your love life, something is changing bringing a situation that is for the long term. So beautiful, beautiful energy there. So let's see where we want to go. Sign that I'm doing for these readings. So I think, let's pull some of these love oracles. Let's see what the energy shows here for you, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? Please share with Cancer. Okay, so we have here past life. But, you know, this is someone I feel either, you know, like I said, I'm not going to rule it out. It could be somebody from the past. But this is also that energy when you meet someone, it's almost like you feel like you know this person because it's a past life connection. Okay, before I could do anything. So we have blonde female. Now this could be someone who is got lighter hair. Yeah, I'm getting lighter hair and lighter eyes. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it's also someone who's kind of laid back, okay? So they're, they're very uh, calm. So this could be you or this could be the person that we are pulling in here for you. Okay, we also have here dark male. Okay, so some of you could be somebody has darker skin more so than lighter skin. You know, that could be the dynamic between you and this person. One of you has lighter and one is darker. May not resonate. Yep, I see dating. Dating opportunities. I see flowers here. It is February. You could get some gifts or flowers from somebody. Yep. And I see a courting man. And I read the energy, not male or female. Oh my gosh, Cancer. This is someone who is reliable, consistent. They're going to court you. I wouldn't be surprised, Cancer, if you get some sort of gift, you know, or flowers from this person. And look what's on the bottom of the deck here. You have the true love card. I feel like you got a true love here that's coming in for you in February, whether you know this person or you don't. There's definitely a strong energy of love for February for you, Cancer. So I think... I'm going to pull um, just a couple of these love oracles and then we're going to get some final guidance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Twin flame. Twin flame ignites. Your passion ignites. So you have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And I have to keep going back to the surprise. I feel like cancer, something happened that really was very hard for you, maybe hard to process, 
didn't understand why it happened, some sort of disappointment in your life. And I feel like this is just another confirmation that a blessing, there's some sort of blessing that is coming your way. And I feel it's a surprise. Like it's not something you're going to see coming is the energy that I'm getting. So Cancer, I am going to close it out with a couple uh, guidance cards here for you. Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do you have for Cancer? Please share it with Cancer what they need to know. So this says, I free myself from critical thoughts towards my body and my worth, right? So this is about you loving you, being positive, knowing you are worth it and you have a lot to offer. So changing your mindset to not think negatively of yourself or whatever the disappointment was, that it wasn't because you weren't good enough. You were good enough and you do deserve blessings and love and beautiful things to happen in your life. It's a number repeating fours. Okay, and this is about feeling secure and stable. So some of you may see repeating fours as well upcoming. And then you have here, look at this. This is beautiful. I live each moment with a presence of gratitude. This is Empress energy. So being grateful in the moment, what you have, regardless of any situation that caused you heartache or disappointment. And then the last message I'm going to leave you with is with a steady mind, I am connected to our collective experience. This is your intuition. And this is keeping your mind free of, right, the negative thinking, th you know, thoughts, the unwanted thoughts, uh, so that you can listen to your intuition. Because you are being guided here by your guides and your angels during this time. So Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.